Hey everybody, how's it going? Well, a lot has happened in the last well, a week or so since we talked. Uh, coronavirus is spreading and um, it's a scary time, let's be honest. I know, uh, especially in the West, uh, America, North America, Canada, uh, there's a lot of fear now and toilet paper is missing. I just hope everybody can remain calm and, uh, you know, hopefully we can get these and keep washing our hands and be safe. And also, like I said before, don't panic. Keep busy. If you gotta be inside, find some things to do. There's a lot of things to do. Today, I'm going to talk about reference. Reference is really just finding what you have around you and then seeing how that sparks some creativity or some ideas. Um, not just relying on the screen, but also, you know, picking things up and looking at them, really looking at them and looking at the shapes of things and, and how, how you can use those things to create something. And lighting is especially important too. Just getting a lamp and creating some nice shadows and, and highlights. One of my favorite artists is Kyle Baker. I saw him post this thing about reference and it's always stuck with me. But he talked about one of the great illustrators, Norman Rockwell, one of the masters. I mean, look at the shadows and the lighting. But even him, he used reference extensively. Another artist Kyle Baker talks about is Maxfield Parrish. And he also has some incredible work. But you can see with these photos how he really used reference. And finally, Kyle Baker talks about SketchUp, which is a free program. Google SketchUp, a really easy to use. And it's a great way to just find quick reference. My dad introduced me, actually, to these artists called the Brothers Hildebrandt. What I'm going to look at here is their Lord of the Rings stuff, but you can see the colors and the lighting and the shadows. Just amazing, amazing compositions and so much life and energy and fantasy. But even them you can see how they used even them. I think this is one of the artists himself. This artist is named Julio Cesar. Another artist, Christopher Burdett, and you can see how he, he uses himself as reference, but then really, really turns on his imagination and makes that photo into something new and interesting. Visualize what it is you want to make and, and try to really see it in your head. Instead of finding the reference first and then making a drawing from that, start with your imagination first and then take your reference photo to match your, your Im imagination. And then going, getting your camera, get using your phone, getting your friends, getting your loved ones, your family, getting yourself to pose and really use those reference shots and materials to create something interesting. When I was in art school, I had a chance to meet one of the greatest animators of all time, Don Bluth. Fantastic films. Worked for Disney. Uh, he made All Dogs Go to Heaven, Secret of Nim. And one of the things he told our class when somebody asked him, what, what kind of things should we do to get better at, at artwork and drawing? And he told us very matter-of-factly and quickly, he said, take acting classes because if you can feel it then you can draw it feel it first then make it a few years ago i got a chance to make a book with the cincinnati review that was a graphic novel based on a play written by declan green and i really got to use a lot of reference but i always remembered that i needed to re-visualize it first and then go about 
making my reference. I want to take the mystery out of this for you. A lot of people that are just starting in art or have an interest but are afraid of that blank page, they look at some artwork and they just say, how do you do that? It's, I can't do that, it's magic. It, and they think about these artists as if the artist just closes their eyes and just starts making something out of, out of nothing. But again and again and again, what I've seen in my journey is that everything comes from something. And the most beautiful, amazing artwork a lot of times comes from just simple human invention. Why do teachers make you paint still lifes when you're first learning how to draw? Because they want to teach you to see and to look and to observe. Everything comes from something. Kyle Baker says, my job as an illustrator is to entertain, not to make things up out of my head. It's not a memory test. I like that quote. Thanks for watching. And I'll see you again real soon. Stay safe. Hope we can find some more toilet paper.